ericmothercmother.com. Let's take a look at some gold charts. We can see here that the gold stock, not the ETF or the index itself, the gold stock, G-O-L-D. And what I want to look at here is this drop that has taken place over the last two, three weeks. Take a look at another gold stock, GG, which is also down in the same time period. A huge chunk in terms of percentage. Take a look at the GDX, the mining index, or the, no, the mining ETF, I should say. This is a big drop. And actually, the reason why it's a big drop is there was excitement that was brewing as far as the gold instruments were concerned. People were getting excited about the breakouts recently, but now we see that they are dropping. Take a look at GLD, and you can see one of the reasons why there was excitement is because GLD just about a week or so ago was breaking out here. But there was something wrong with the charts, and I was not very sure that they were going to hold. And I made a comment because if you take a look at the GLD on a weekly chart, and you can see that there was this breakout attempt above 2017's weekly closing high right here, and of course it failed to break out or hold above that that was a warning sign all right and since then we see it drifting lower but i think the main takeaway and the reason why there was something not right with the chart is if you take a look at the top side of the weekly rsi this is the reason why there was visual concern that the breakout attempt was a trap and you could have seen this if you are watching the weekly chart because it came back to test this line just did not feel like there was enough energy and that double top does confirm that the move was a trap also consider that if you take a look at this RSI line the red line which was the break line of the highs of 2016 if you take that line and extend it out it should be something like that the line gives you an interesting perspective you have resistance here which is that top on a weekly closing basis before you go on this multi-month drop and again we came back and tagged the same line twice so when I saw this, I knew there was concern here for a pullback as far as gold was concerned, unless, unless gold would clear that level. But once we started seeing evidence of resistance, the takeaway was to expect a pullback. Now, this is the two-year weekly. You can also see evidence of this if you take a look at the monthly chart. And on the monthly for GLD, we are going to do the same. I'm going to use my uniformity method. And for more about this uniformity method, take a look. There should be a link or a couple of links in the description of the video. So this was the break that brings gold lower. Right there. Off the highs there. And... If we extend that line which is our uniformity resistance line then it becomes evident why we are pulling back that was resistance of the highs of 2016 we were able to use the same line for the highs of 2016 <laughs> and then here we are coming again we've already hit this before and we are doing the same thing as of early February 2018 so as long as we continue seeing resistance, what that tells anybody who's watching this is that the odds are favoring the downside. 
at some point whenever it happens should gold down the road move above this red line then that is where one can really be aggressive expecting gold to move higher but since we are seeing resistance now the interpretation here is to expect lower prices and we've been getting that over the last couple of days and weeks now this red line by the way I should point out so happens to be at about the RSI 61.8 go figure now I want to address something and it might be a little bit sensitive for some of you who believe in the idea that gold is a safe heaven when the markets are moving lower right we hear that all the time but I question where that comes from and here's why let's do a little bit of an exercise together the black line is the S&P 500 all right here S&P 500 is moving higher from 2004 to 2007 and where is gold headed gold was heading higher S&P 500 goes on a major drop in 2008 where does gold go it also pulls back S&P 500 bottoms starts recovering so does gold S&P 500 continues higher over the next couple of years and so does gold in fact what I see here is once gold peaks right here now notice something here this pullback in gold is consistent with a pullback in the general market gold starts recovering let me show that here and the market is also moving higher now the only divergence I can see here from this chart is there is a period here where we have gold moving lower and yet the market was moving higher so maybe the general market is a safe haven when gold is dropping now there is a period of sideways action net net one might argue which is here in 2015 or down and that is S&P 500 was down or sideways take a look at gold down or sideways the market recovers in early 2016 of the lows gold recovers off the lows of 2016 market has a shallow pullback here right there shallow pullback gold has a shallow pullback the market recovers and starts going to new highs gold eh, kind of sideways to slightly up now as far as I can tell I don't see any period on this chart where gold was a safe heaven for the stock market maybe I don't have enough data but surely if gold was a safe haven <laughs> then this mega drop in 2000 and eight for the general market should have been where gold should have taken off right in theory you would expect that this is when gold took off because the market was dropping and dropping substantially but now actually what we see is a drop in gold which is consistent with the general market so here's what I propose I don't see any evidence and I've looked at this going back to the 80s the 90s and I don't see any evidence on the charts that shows that gold is a safe heaven 
Now, maybe somebody can show me that period. Of course, there are going to be a couple of weeks here, a couple of days, a couple of months. But I'm talking about a trend. I don't see it. And so I think probably the best way of looking at gold is gold needs a stable to bullish general market for gold to move higher. Again, in my opinion, the only time gold has done well, the general market was stable to bullish. And we can take this instant here where we have this nice move in gold, but it needed a stable to bullish market to perform that. Gold has a nice run here from the lows of late 08, early 09 to the highs of 2011. But guess what? It needed a stable to bullish bull market to achieve that run. So I think contrary to what we've been told that gold is a safe haven, buy gold in case the market implodes, I think if the market is imploding, most gold related instruments are also going to be imploding including gold itself one of the reasons might be because people have to raise capital <laughs> anyways a little bit sidetracked eric muadith mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i c s